Today's Sunday Mass with Catholic Extension comes to you from St. Paul's Monastery Chapel in the Mission Diocese of Youngstown, Ohio. Good morning. I'm Father Jack Wall, the President of Catholic Extension. We build up and strengthen vibrant Catholic faith communities in America's poorest regions. Christ is clearly present among us in these places, and seeing the profound faith of these communities gives us hope. This is Father Jim Corda. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Jim Corda of the Diocese of Youngstown. And I'm Barb Zorn from St. Columba Cathedral and Holy Family Parish in Poland. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers, Judge James McNally. Lord, grant us grace to know the time of action or of prayer, which are to crowd with waiting work and which with you to share. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's my pleasure to be with you again today as we gather to hear God's word, to celebrate the Eucharist, and to recall his presence within us. So now let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest, highest, and, and on, on earth peace to people of goodwill. Good will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great, great glory. glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Receive, receive our prayer. prayer. You, you are seated, seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy on us, for you, you alone are the Holy One. one. You, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus, Jesus Christ, with, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit, in the glory of God, God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the Tenebrith of Mamre as he sat in the entrance of his tent while the day was growing hot. Looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought that you may bathe your feet and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food that you may refresh yourselves and afterward you may go on your way. The men replied, very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender choice steer and gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk as well as the steer that had been prepared and set these before the three men. 
and he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, where is your wife, Sarah? He replied, there in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He, he who, who does, does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Of the Lord. One who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He, he who, who does, does justice will, will live in the presence of the Lord. Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He, he who, who does, does justice will, will live in the, in the presence, presence of the, of the Lord. Lord. Who lends not his money at usury and accepts no bribe against the innocent. One who does these things shall never be disturbed. He, he who, who does, does justice will, will live in the, in the presence, presence of the Lord. Of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of this body, which is the church, of which I am a minister, in accordance with God's stewardship given to me to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones, to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you, the hope for glory. It is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, I once knew a good person who always attended church and always got involved in everything that was going on. You could always count on him to be a very generous giver. Now, if the church ever needed money for a particular project, he would always give the most money. It's nice to have people like that in the church, isn't it? But in this person's case, there was a slight problem. Because he gave most of the money, he thought that he had the right to call all the shots. If he didn't get his way, he would pout, he would get angry, and in many cases, he would take his money back and leave. I know another person who is a good helper of the weak and the elderly. His wife prepares hot meals for him to take 
to the shut-ins. The food is delicious, but there's one slight problem. He is a constant complainer, and he talks incessantly about the problems. His gout acts up, his children are indifferent to his needs. Not only that, the world as he sees it is on the brink of disaster. We're all going to hell in a handbasket. By the time he leaves the shut-ins and the elderly, they are too depressed to even eat their hot, delicious food. You see, the best deeds can be ruined by bad attitudes. Jesus experienced that in today's gospel. Martha was busy with all the details of hospitality. She was serving all the food, tidying up the room, and making all the beds. She was serving everyone and resenting every minute of it. Martha ruined it for everyone. The best of deeds can be ruined by bad attitudes. Now, what causes bad attitudes? Obviously, the answer is many things. I guess that the bottom line is to remind ourselves that the kingdom of God does not depend on our programs or our projects. Getting things done will not necessarily hasten the kingdom of God, especially not if we do them with bad attitudes or with the wrong spirit. You see, Martha overlooked that. She was eager to serve Christ, no doubt, but she forgot the spirit in which she was to serve. And that is the most important part of service. So I ask the question again, what causes bad attitudes? Mostly, it's a preoccupation with ourselves. A more urgent question is this, what is the cure for bad attitudes? I suspect that Mary found the answer to that question. The Bible said she seated herself at Jesus' feet and listened to his words. We have no specific information about his words, but we can assume that they were like his words on many other occasions. He was constantly teaching people how to live right. I think that he was showing us that a good attitude can really transform our worst deeds. The supreme example of that was the cross. If ever a person was undeserving of a cruel fate, it was Jesus. Yet he faced it without complaint, without fear. Yet, I almost hesitate to mention the cross because it is far beyond anything that you and I can ever attain. Yet it gives us a target toward which to follow and toward which to aim. So often, we spoil our deeds by bad attitudes. But Jesus showed us how to do the exact opposite. The question is, can you and I really do that? Well, we won't do it in the same way that he did it, but we can aspire to attitudes of faith and love that bring the best out of the worst. Martha may have eventually grown into that, but even if she didn't, you and I can. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I, I believe, believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. 
For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For the church, that we may welcome with open arms all those in need, bearing witness to God's generosity, especially to the least among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, that they may work together to care for our common home and its many residents. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For immigrants, refugees, those seeking asylum, and all who migrate in search of safety, security, and well-being, that they may find welcome in their new home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer in the summer's extreme temperatures, especially seniors and those with difficult medical conditions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that our communities of faith may always exercise hospitality, inviting all those seeking a spiritual home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, we praise and thank you, especially for the great gift of hospitality. As we seek to serve you, joyfully and sincerely in one another. One day welcome us to the fullness of your kingdom in heaven. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O oh God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law. Accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate of the Holy Spirit and born of the virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. 
sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not am worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kingdom pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing. Amen. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. Amen. And so, may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of God's commands, made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you for being part of our celebration of the Eucharist. We share a bond with our fellow Catholics as God is calling us to be one and share our gifts with each other. Won't you now help us build up and strengthen our church across the United States? Please call or visit us on the web and join us next week. May God bless you and all whom you love. <laughs>